You say something? Hello. Aloha. This is Team PA. Niha. Team PA. Hello. We are Team PA. Chicken chow mein, fried rice. Are we? Are we on? Yeah, but I can chop the yeah, I can chop the thing up. This is our business presentation, Team PA Hire, and basically we are a PA, a business idea. It's a PA hire company, and the business is going to hire to both individuals and businesses. And our basic pricing scheme is going to be, um, it's going to be like different price packages, like offering like different sort of packages for different scenarios. Like if you're organising a wedding or a party or a conference or something, then we all supply like different size. Offers like we are flexible flex packages. Yeah, flexible packages for different prices, and we're going to be offering to different, um, such as individuals or just businesses, like whether you're looking for, um, uh, yeah, parties or anything. Yeah, our target market would probably be small local venue owners who doesn't have their own rigs and such. Aside from that, we offering party packages for gigs, conferences, local festivals, and more. On top of that, we also offer live recordings. So if you want to back up what they said from the event, you can always store it and send it back to them if you want. A financial summary is gonna have to cover a basic PI, PI system, including a sound desk, a van hire, a small gazebo, storage space, equipment insurance and pack testing and personnel and we're planning to do this by a small fund from the Prince's Trust and we're going to start off with a small basic PA system like two speakers and a desk and then hopefully over time like after a few months we can grow into bigger packages to offer for bigger events. We tend to avoid bank loans and such because they've got really high interest rate so if possible we might start off without the storage bases that's then we get bigger so we need, when we start, it's like what Matt said, speakers and a sound desk, we store that in our homes. And, that. and if we need money, we can always ask family first because you can pay back more interest. So you've got less burden to carry when you're trying to pay back the business loan from Prince of Trust. Our ultimate objective would be start off locally and then expand it into regional southwest and then as time goes on we try to expand to entertainment organizing companies and also we have when we get enough money we will have more equipment so we have bigger size events if we want to and we can yeah by entertainment we can include stage lighting tents actual entertainment so if you want to do kids party we can hire a party and we can also offer decorations because we want it. Um, also, we're gonna offer. We can offer a small team, like hopefully in the future, like a small team of four or five to organize the entire event and oversee it as well, instead of like just providing like the numbers and stuff. But actually, organize the whole wedding, see down to the venue and everything, and contact it all for the individual. And because we have connection with access to music here, if they want to an event and don't know, don't know how I'm going to DJ, we can always see what students we have here who want to play the events and send them there. To start it off, we start with penetration pricing, which attract loads of customers in one go. And then over time, let's say six months to a year, we'll raise it back up to competitive pricing accordingly. And we can offer discounts with business part partners if they offer to use us for more than one event. Like offer a 10 or 20 percent off the next time that they decide to come back to Prince Ross to keep like contacts and keep feel sweet. Keep the relationship going as well. Yeah. And that is it. Yeah. We'll let you do that again because you just started shaking. I think if you do it again but you were getting there. I think if you could do it over it's going to come through a lot clearer. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I will allow it's just so I can allow you some tips. Okay. Um, it's, it's good. Like, like you could tell at the beginning that you hadn't read through it yet. No. Yeah. Um, and then, sort of, as you got a bit warmed up, 
to start, I just sort of discuss things a bit more and sort of pass things back a little bit to and fro, which is good. I just like say, start from an elevator pitch, like sort of saying that you're, you know, a new, new young, enthusiastic. Yeah, I'll try and just sell it, sell it to us. You're new, you're young, you're enthusiastic. Not you know, to you know, <laughs> or that kind of thing. Um, and just try and be sort of confident about it and just talk about how take it in steps like you've done. I mean, you've done a good job there with taking it in steps in terms of, you know, how you're going to start, start small, yeah. with a small loan, maybe with a business trust, with some support. Mm -hmm. um, and a small sum of support. Yeah. And uh, then increase on. Just uh, when you talk about expanding into, you just, you, the sections are too short, okay. in, in a way. You could have talked more about the fact that you're, um, that you're uh, going to expand into things that you're going to buy in tents and put on more events yourself, that kind of thing. Just to, like talk a little bit more about that. Just sort of say, you know, and explain that you, you start small, you earn money, you, any money you make, you put back into the business in order to buy new equipment and you build it up that way. And eventually, either through working with partners or through your own money, you might be able to move into buying I'll just give you a couple of minutes to sort of look through. Event orders are for urban events, much like rent trips. Could be sort of each. And the next one. Wait, are you speaking out for a slide then? We can both do a pass back. Right. Once you've got going, you seem to be passing back to board yeah. quite nicely. Yeah, give examples. A festival. Is that is it Love no, Saves the Day? Uh, local festivals do. Love Saves the Day as well. Love Saves the Day. British Fest, Love Saves the Day. There's, there was like a three day scarf fest on the Flea site a few weeks ago. Was that an indoor one? Yeah. Yeah. Indoor, outdoor one. Trouble is that yeah. venues have got their own yays. But new new venue owners like. I don't know. Art Festival one. If the exchange opened, like another. You can say such as, well. as such as British Fest, such as uh, that's why I know British Fest. Doctor the Dot, there's this the Stokes Croft Festival. Oh, Doctor Dot is that an indoor one? What's the name of that? Stokes Croft Festival. I forgot what it's called. Stokes Croft Festival. St Paul's Carnival, is it? St Paul's Carnival. You back off, back off. Yeah, well, man, yeah, let's, 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 let's not get too bogged down on that. Let's. Do you want to do it again and then? Do it? Oh, hang on. You're right. Be, be comfortable about it. Like it's, it's, it's good. We'll ask you some questions afterwards. And Just wait, you've got the camera, but I have cameras right there. Uh, don't worry, man. Don't worry about the cameras. Let's right. assume you've done it to 100,000 people in this thing. Imagine this room's full of people that don't give a fuck about ideas. So actually, you should be worried about it. You've got the money. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, do you want to start with the end? Don't be worried. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go, go. Alright, our, our company is called Team PA Hire. We're new up and coming, well, not up and coming, we're start that one start again. Starting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not even up yet. Okay, yeah, yeah, if you could say we're a new up and coming, we, we, we're entrepreneurs. Yeah. You can say that, you can be enthusiastic about it, try and sell it to us. Okay, you, you, you finish it. I'll do the first slide then. Don't come on the spot. Hello, we are Team PA Hire from Bristol. We are the owners of this business and we are really enthusiastic about reaching our company into the Bristol market. Go on. Sweet. Right, well basically we're a local PA hire company based in Bristol at the moment and we're going to start off in a local Bristol area and hopefully um, like we're going to be aiming at businesses and individuals like for their needs like just offering a small PA package and then offer line recordings as well for the bands for bands and conferences, for podcasts and stuff. That's going to be our unique selling point. And we'll eventually we'll grow into the organisation side of things as well. And then grow into the surrounding Bristol areas. That's our basic, basic features. Yeah, on selling. back into our customers. Uh, when we start, we're not going to be picky about 
which client would we be working for? It could be individuals, business, companies, organizations, uh, weddings, parties, local festivals like Brits Fest, or any kind of function that require a PA rate to work. Uh, a finance a finance is going to have to include a basic PA system, including a sound desk, transport like a van hire, a small gazebo for like to work in any weather, storage space eventually, and equipment insurance and pack testing and personnel, which will be us at the moment. First um, off, any money we make from the business will be going like back straight back into the business until we uh, can safely grow the business. And we start. We're not going to just buy everything at once. We're going to start with the top here basic PA and sound desk. As we get more money thrown in, we'll save up and then buy all these things below this, the, the thing. Storage wise, we're just gonna put what we start uh, at our addresses. So, and we've got, we bought curry, so we can just drive our car into the location and just put the thing up, put it back in, and pack it up. Yeah. Our objective, Ultimately, would be going into an entertainment organising company. So instead of just doing pay hire, we'll be doing would be e event organisations, putting our own events such as club nights or gigs. Um, we're gonna when we get enough money, we'll get them staging, lighting, tents, the actual entertainment. So if it's for a kids party, it would be party hosts, decorations, balloons, and all that. And um, we we still going to be going back to our roots doing product launches, business conferences, wedding parties, conventions. Uh, we start off now with penetration pricing to get, attract those customers and get the local market share. And then in the six months or so, we're going to move back to uh, competitive pricing. And hopefully, in five years' time, we'll be expanding our company into the whole southwest area. So Somerset, Plymouth, all that area. And that's our presentation. Yeah. Right. Uh, okay. Any questions? Yeah, um, how are you sourcing recording space and clients to work with? Recording space, um, it's only gonna be line recording it is. Like say, if at the conference or at the gig, we're gonna plug a laptop straight into the okay, desk. Okay, so you're not thinking of doing any um, not location, on location recording. recording. Is that something you'd be interested in expanding into? Yes, but obviously we need money to buy equipment first. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, do you have any existing contacts or networks in the Bristol area at the moment? We've got quite a few, but we have to con we have to uh, build up more as we work with more clients as well. Yeah. To build up our customer base, and Bristol's not a big area, so it should be easy to get more contacts if we work hard and we work good. Mm -hmm. And another thing we're doing is offering discounts to like say if a business uses us more than once, like to set up a long term relationship, like twenty percent or ten percent. We haven't really figured out yet, but I'm offer a discount to keep yeah. them coming back to us and stuff, and then they'll tell. Yeah, by doing that, they will spread the word as well, saying we did a good job, mm -hmm. and cheap and stuff. Um, have you thought about how you're going to maintain your equipment and keep it up to date with the ever changing market in gear? Yeah, we, because there'll be courses on this kind of aspect. Um, so we, if there's any conference of that, we'll, we'll go there and see what's the newest technology and upgrade our equipment over time and pack test them as well. Mm -hmm. So what are your roles within this business? Yes. What, what, sort of, what do you individually bring to this, to this business out here? This is more like a, more like a co owned business. So we'll start off with just being me and Matt. You'll be like the main transport person and yeah. I'll be the sound technical that helps out. And then we go through the other aspects, like logistical, moving and in and out. And get more people yeah. into the team once it expands, like in every When we've got enough money to pay the people to do work for us, mm -hmm. then we'll expand our business. So when you move into more events management areas? Yeah. Then we'll take in some other people. Yeah, we will take in more people. We will okay. take contracted out. I know you said you were looking at a wide range of clients, but starting off, do you have any specific idea of where you want to move, whether it be bands, DJs, or just renting out your PA to a night? I reckon we'll just be renting out our PA to a night. Yeah. And then as we get more 
acknowledge that, we move into what you said before and get into the market and then expand it out bit by bit yeah. instead of going all out at once, Chris, then and handle it. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're starting with a small system, um, then presumably you're going to, I mean, if you're starting with a small system, getting a small loan, maybe from Princess Trust, yeah. then uh, presumably you'd be starting with sort of weddings and parties. the money mm. now under the Princess Trust we also have family support well at, fir at first we just start like just at the small weddings and stuff and then as we get like the bigger systems we can afford to advertise to a bigger market instead of just like a small party and stuff and we can advertise that we've got a bigger rig and we can do bigger events and hopefully that'll attract the bigger like if someone's having a wedding instead of in a hall like a reception outside like in a big venue like a Queen's or something and then hopefully just just like slowly increase the like advertisement as well as like to what we can keep up with. But to do that we need to save up money first, which is what the key thing is. Well, we're not we're not thinking of going for the bank loans because the interest rate is too high. Mm -hmm. So we just we just start off, we're gonna stick to family member support and the Prince of Trust. Personal money as well. Yeah. Course. And then when we get more established, we can put our company onto a loan. So the bank will accept the risk and trust us and then we get more equipment in, we get more business going. And do you, uh, so this would be a partnership then? Yeah. Do you know, and have you any idea what sort of range of money you'd need to start? PA rigs at the moment for a basic go up for 150 a night, like for the two for like four speakers or two speakers, um, and it costs around 350 for the whole um, like kit. So at first it'll initially be a loss, but after the first five or couple of nights we'll be making money back off the first system, and then hopefully we can afford to buy a second system, and then the higher that one as well. So we're looking around around 500 to begin with. System. So that's going to be quite a small system, isn't it? So that's kind that's, of that's going to be starting off straight at the bottom. That is. That's the thing. We 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 want to try. We want to start with low risk. S small expenditures yeah. and make a small profit and then build up slowly to being able to afford to take. Because time is important, guys. Yeah, it's just that small. And you start building the skills as you go as well. Yeah. say that £500 to start the business is a little bit of a low estimate. I, like, from what little I know of PA rigs, um, I'd say that you need to look again at that, because for 350 to 500 quid you'd get a system that wouldn't really be that professional. Not reliable. We consider that. That's why the Princess Trust, from what I know, they give a loan around £1,000 just so that we can cover the risk in that and get, we, 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 maybe we get more money to buy more reliable brands than getting the cheap ones and breaking all the time. Mm. But we have to actually see what the current market offers before we buy them. I mean, how, if you say somebody, say somebody offered you quite a big, because you go out there as a PA hire firm, say somebody mm. offered you quite a big job, how do you go about that? The, 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 uh, would you consider hiring uh, rigs or hiring rigs like other people to use? Or, or how do you think? If we had one bigger than our current range, like if, we, if they came to us or like asking for a bigger system than what we own. No, to put on an event. Depends what they really want. Uh, I guess we're going to have to go through other yeah. people then and hire out other people. We're going to work in partnership with the other company, mm. 
for the show equipment if they allow us to do that. Otherwise, we'll have to pass it on. How do you see it working with the events management? How do you see that coming in? Uh, I mean, what what uh, what events do you see yourself doing? How how what, how does your business plan for that? What, what because we've got college background, um, we can always go back to college and ask if they need any event putting on, and then we can use this to start with. And then if they go well, then we're going to start putting our own gig nights, concerts, and bands. DJs and all that, and then we can even do an audio festival just to have a test run before it goes into it. But at the moment, we will we'll concentrate on um, PA high The event management's a long term job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The email just literally like 10 years after. Can you tell me again what your unique selling point is as well? Uh, in line recordings uh, for different things. Uh, different the events, sorry. I mean, is that something that you could that you could consider that as something that you could also do in terms of when you've already have PAs or they have uh, events on, would you consider doing that as sort of well, like on location recording? Yeah, yeah, that that would be that would be fun, yeah. Okay. But like I said, we have to actually get the money first mm. and then see what is out there before deciding. So I don't know. We've got too much ideas. I want to do it all at once, but we need to stay on the ground and see what options there is. So what what would you charge initially? Well the current market is about between fifty for place. We could do something like hundred pound just for that. So you'd be taking not a very big cut initially? No. Uh, so how are you supporting yourselves during that period? Is this presumably Other work? Yeah, part-time jobs. Okay, so you, you build up the business while yeah. you're still working. Okay, that, that make, I mean, that makes sense, doesn't it? Because um, a lot of your work would be, yeah. I presume you'd be doing weddings and things like that then. Yeah. A lot of your work would be weekends, so. That's the thing, for weddings, people are willing to spend money on, on it, so that's what we get the money for. Well, are you putting the whole company under one brand? Uh, the event management, the recording, the PA hire, it's all going to be under yeah, one of those. Yeah, it's all going to be under one thing. Okay, okay. Okay. So what's your, what's your feedback on the whole thing? Um, idea? I think it's really good. The only thing I think is that um, it's quite a wide amount of clients you're going through at first. If you imagine setting up a website and you've got PA hire for corporate, weddings, parties, and then you've got your recording, and then you've got the bands. I think when you start off, it needs to be kind of focused to a stricter target market yeah. in the local area, and then you can set yourself goals to kind of reach those certain people and the events that they want and what they're looking for, and then you can slowly build out from there. You need to kind of pick a niche, try and find that niche if you can, and then you can build it into your bigger umbrella from there. Yeah. My, my thoughts on idea but I think your financial estimates are absolutely way way out I mean uh, uh, the kind of PA rig that you could hire for five for what, 500 quid or so uh, I've, uh, personally I've owned PAs that size and you can only hire those out for like 50 quid or something like that you know what I mean it, it's not it's not you need a bit more you need to spend a bit more initially to, to get a system I think have you considered building your own speakers? No. No. It's a possibility. It takes a lot of practice yeah. and a few, you know, bad attempts, but you can make good 18 inch dividers, cabs, um, scoops quite well. I've seen it done, a couple of mates have done it. And it, even if it wasn't your main PA, you could use it to fill out some of the sound. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So it might be another avenue to go down. Yeah, I think I think in terms of like your business planning and stuff like that, I think uh, despite your sort of obvious sort of like nerves and stuff like that, I think you've identified a good range of. I I, I disagree with you in a little bit in that I think that um, having a range of clients at the beginning is going to really help. Um, I also think, I mean, this isn't something where you're going to be competing with. Uh, Local, you're not going to be supplying local venues necessarily because they've already got PA systems in there. So I think um, the events management side of things is really strong. Um, PA systems obviously be part of that. Like with the uh, with the kind of PA system that you could afford from Princess Trust, I think you could do sort of decent 
to like and then the festivals that we we looked at sort of like doing small acoustic stages and cafes and things like that initially because to complete with the likes of sort of like Southwest Audio and all that and stage electrics and all that kind of stuff then you know they've got like vast warehouses full of god knows what and then like an articulated lorries to try it along so obviously your your pitching initially should I'd recommend being towards small events. Stage electrics, I know something from uh, I already spoke about uh, workplace, but it's giving me 